and his father are at home. He is helping his father to pin a note onto the notice board at home. Suddenly, the pin slipped from Farhan's hand. It fell behind the bookshelf. Farhan tried to pick up the pin, but he could not reach it. It was too far in. How can you help Farhan to pick up the pin? Children, let's see how we can help Farhan to pick up the pin. Farhan can use a ruler to pick up the pin. Farhan can use a long metal hook to pick up the pin. Farhan can use a magnet to pick up the pin. Which object would you choose to pick up the pin? Discuss this with your friends. Click on each object to find out. Oh no! The ruler cannot reach the pin. Farhan cannot use a ruler to pick up the pin. Whoops! The long metal hook cannot reach the pin. Farhan cannot use the long metal hook to pick up the pin. Wonderful! The pin sticks to the magnet. Farhan can use a magnet to pick up the pin. Farhan cannot use a ruler to pick up the pin. Farhan cannot use the long metal hook to pick up the pin. Farhan can use a magnet to pick up the pin. Farhan used a magnet to pick up the pin. The magnet attracts the pin to it. The pin sticks to the magnet. Now, let's see what a magnet can do. Let's look at an example. You are given a magnet and some paper clips. What do you think will happen when the magnet is put near the paper clips? Discuss this with your friends. Drag the magnet to the paper clips to find out. Look, the magnet attracts the paper clips to it. The paper clips stick to the magnet. Look, children, here are different types of magnets. Do you think all of them can attract the paper clips? Discuss this with your friends. Drag each magnet to the paper clips to find out. This magnet attracts the paper clips to it. 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 Chegu, all the magnets are able to attract the paper clips. Yes, all the magnets are able to attract the paper clips. Magnets come in different shapes and sizes. We name them according to their shapes. Let's find out the names of these magnets. Click on each magnet to find out its name. This is a U-shaped magnet. 
This is a cylindrical magnet. This is a circular magnet. This is a bar magnet. This is a horseshoe magnet. This is a ring magnet. Look at the bar magnet. Which parts of the magnet attract the most paper clips? Discuss this with your friends. Drag the magnet to the paper clips to find out. The two ends of the magnet attract the most paper clips. The two ends are the poles of the magnet. In this lesson, you have learned about magnets. A magnet is able to attract some things. Magnets come in different shapes. Magnets also come in different sizes. The two ends of a magnet attract the most paper clips. The two ends are the poles of the magnet. This is a U-shaped magnet. This is a horseshoe magnet. Which parts of the magnets attract the most paper clips? Discuss this with your friends. Click Check Answer to find out. This is a U-shaped magnet. These two ends of the magnet attract the most paper clips. These two ends are the poles of the magnet. This is a horseshoe magnet. These two ends of the magnet attract the most paper clips. These two ends are the poles of the magnet. Look at these magnets. Match the labels to the magnets. Drag the correct labels to the magnets. Then click Done. Excellent! You have labeled the magnets correctly. These are the correct labels for the magnets. Look at this bar magnet. Which are the poles of the bar magnet? Click on the poles. Then click Done. Great! These are the poles of the bar magnet. Look at this horseshoe magnet. Which are the poles of the horseshoe magnet? Click on the poles. Then click Done. Fantastic! These are the poles of the horseshoe magnet. Look at this U-shaped magnet. Which are the poles of the U-shaped magnet? Click on the poles. Then click Done. Wonderful! These are the poles of the U-shaped magnet. Which of the statements about magnets are true? Click on the correct answers. There are more than one answer. Click Done when you have finished. Congratulations! A magnet has only two poles. A magnet is able to attract some things like a pin. 
Magnets attract some things to them. When you put a magnet near some paper clips, the paper clips stick to the magnet. The magnet attracts the paper clips to it. Magnets come in different shapes and sizes. This is a bar magnet. This is a horseshoe magnet. This is a cylindrical magnet. This is a circular magnet. This is a U-shaped magnet. This is a ring magnet. The two ends of the magnet attract the most paper clips. These are the poles of the magnet. Look at this magnet. The poles of the magnet are colored differently. One pole is red and the other pole is blue. What do the colors mean? You can also see N and S on each pole. What do the letters mean? Discuss this with your friends. Click Check Answer to find out. Look at the poles of the magnet. The north pole of the magnet is colored red. The letter N means north. The south pole of the magnet is colored blue. The letter S means south. We can see N and S on different types of magnets. Look at these magnets. There are the letters N and S on this magnet. There is no N or S on this magnet. How can you find out the North Pole and South Pole of this magnet? Discuss this with your friends. Click Check Answer to find out. Let's put the magnets this way. They attract each other. Different poles of magnets attract each other. The north pole of the magnet is attracted to this magnet. This must be the south pole of the magnet. We can write the letter S on the pole of this magnet. Now, let's put the magnets this way. They repel each other. The same poles of magnets repel each other. The north pole of the magnet repels this magnet. Therefore, this must be the north pole of this magnet. These are the north pole and south pole of this magnet. This is one way to find out the north pole and south pole of the magnet.